Hey guys, my name is Lazarus, and welcome back to Let's Play Spire the Dragon. We are entering Dark Hollow, and this is episode 2. That's all I really had to say. Now let's watch him do a backflip into the level. Fantastic. This level I remember a lot from as a kid, and to be quite frank with you, it's one of my favorites. It's so sincere, it's not trying to be very much. It's just a simple little romp through something. It's not really a... It's a hollow. That's what it is. Alban. Who named you? Oh, it's Who you. named you? I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Pretty sure metal can melt if it's hot enough. So if you guys didn't know, there's actually a Japanese version of this game that uh, is not only worse, but it's actually kind of astounding how much they they improved it in the English release. Um, if you look up like Spyro Japanese gameplay, oh, hey, uh, ow, douche, turn around, bitch, bam, you're dead. Like the uh, the camera system, the camera is horrible in the Japanese version. Like it is like legendarily bad. I mean, it's not, I don't know, I guess it's just not something I'm used to. Excuse me, sir, please don't use your belly. Ow. Bitch. I didn't grab that. I need that. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Not many people will just give up their gems to me freely. Oswin. Hello, Oswin. Spyro, want to know a secret? Sure. Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh. Your secret's safe with me. I've been doing that for a while now. It's not much of a secret, you son of a bitch. I expect to be repaid in time. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh man, now Sparks is all blue. He's blue, bada bada bada. This music, though. Very catchy. What just happened there? I don't even. Oh, hello, Jim, that I almost missed. I long to see you. I was kind of upset today because I wanted to go on a hike, but it was, I don't have a jacket because for some reason it's, it, the weather decided to get all, ow, for some reason the weather decided to get all cold and whatnot, and I'm like, hey, why are you being all cold? I'm in Arizona, it's not supposed to be cold for like a long ass time. This is some bullshit. <laughs> so I didn't end up getting to go on a hike and I was kind of sad about that. But I shall get a jacket pretty soon. And, uh, you know, that's good. And now we shall put the key into the lock of justice. Thank you for all of these justifical things. Words. How do they work? How did I, how did I not pick that one up? I thought Sparks would have, uh, grabbed that there thing for me. Boom! Hello. Hello, sir. How you doing? Fine. Alright, now let's head over this way and grab this little green... Oh, I really thought I was gonna miss that just then. I would have gotten quite upset. Alright, seems to be good. I'm pretty sure there's only a hundred gems in this, uh level, which is pretty low for a Spyro game, in terms of gems, like, that's, that's decently low. Big Hello? enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. I already but killed him, though. Flame, that should defeat them. But I already killed him, so, I appreciate the help, but it doesn't really help. And there it is, 100% in the level. Now we're gonna head over to the Artisan Boss World. I think his name is Toasty. And we're going to kick his ass. And it flies me straight into a hedge. Isn't that nice? Well, hey there, guys. So if you see whenever I kill an enemy, uh, I guess you can't right now, but if you kill an enemy to which you've already gotten the gems, here, I can actually show you. Um, if you look in the top right-hand corner of the screen, right when I killed these guys, boom, boom, those little gems, or, well, spheres that I get, when that fills up around Spyro's head, I get, uh, I get a one-up. So that's good. 
Yep, toasty. Toasty! Toasty! Alright, we have 600 gems. Fantastic. Du -du -du -du. There's always gems behind you when you spawn in any world. That always bothered me. Oh, I hate those dogs. Eh, because they... When I was a kid, I didn't realize that they took two hits to kill. My, uh... My very feeble young mind hadn't wrapped around that idea yet. Aja! Aja! No! Oh, no! Oh, you... You sneaky little fucker! He just threw me off the edge! He just don't give a fuck. What a douche. Okay, fuck you, first of all. Fuck you, too. Fuck you. No, fuck you. I'm gonna try to make it through this entire level without getting smashed. Oh, I almost just got smashed. Oh. I hate those dogs. They gave me, well, not nightmares as a kid, but something fairly close to that. They did appear in my dreams. And not in a positive way, I might add. Aha! I've outsmarted you once again, sir. Right? Now let's head this way. This is off the beaten path, isn't it? Whoa, puppies, hey. I've always kind of wondered, what would happen if a gym, like, fell off the edge of the world? Like, what would you do? You'd kind of just be fucked. Alright, um, yeah, I think we're good to continue and fight Toasty. Jack-o-lantern scarecrow man. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the Arctic mm -hmm. world. All right. Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Oh. Be oh, careful, feisty. Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. All right. Many tricks. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Oh, well, that was not where I was meaning to go at all. Got some tricks up your sleeve, Toasty. I'll kill you. Oh, I just killed your puppy. Ready? Oh, what? Wait, what? What? Yep, if you haven't known this already, Toasty is in fact a sheep on stilts. Very threatening indeed. Honestly, the dogs have been much more threatening in this battle. And I'm just taking the town. And you're dead. And you lose. And there it is. And 100! <laughs> so with that, we finished that. Yeah. Quite awesome indeed. So with that, we've completed the Artisan Homeworld, other than the one level that we can't do yet, but we'll come back to it when we're actually able to do so. Yeah. So until then, let's go to the Peacekeeper's world. Hello, sir. I really want to know what kind of creature you are. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. Well, let's do that. I love the music in this game. Like, I know I keep saying that, but it's only because it's true. Titan. Ooh. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against. Are you a leopard dragon? We cover our treasure, Spyro. I said leopard, Collect not leopard. Treasure. Just to clear that up. <laughs> a leopard dragon. That would be something to see. Hello, sir. You are dead. What are you doing? Don't over to me. Did I say you could do that? No. No, I did not. Hmm. Oh, well, let's go grab these. To victory! <laughs> Excuse me. Bang. And a bang. <laughs> Hello! 
Yes, yes, run away. Okay, I thought he was going to do something a bit different. Maybe these guys will. Yup, there it is. It's a full moon out tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you'd think they'd learn not to do that after I killed all their friends, but apparently no such thing occurs. Alright, let's go back and get any gems that we missed, which I think I know where we missed a few. That would be right, right, oh wow, never mind. I thought we did, but apparently we did not. Yeah, what you doing? No, no cannon for you. And no mooning for you. And yes, I know I missed a dragon, so hold up. Woohoo! We already have eight lives. We're gonna need those eventually. Hi, Spyro. Another leopard dragon. Folks, the dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Indeed. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. That was the single most girliest and most amazing thing I've ever heard in my entire life. God, I love this game. Alright, um... Where's the... Oh, no! Oh! Alright, now we can use this. Yeah! Will it hit? Success! I love that little mechanic. I think I know the word to describe how, that, how this game is to me. Charming. It's one of the most charming games I've ever played. There's something behind here, isn't it? Nope. Thought there might be. Can't blame me for not knowing. Yeah, because you have freaking Spyro freaking the dragon memorized. Oh, there's a thiefer! Wow, he didn't even try to- he didn't even try. A key. I didn't see any locked chest, did you? I mean, the only chest that we found we could just break open. Gunner. Hello, Gunner. Well done, Spyro! Every dragon Keep in this world work, looks so I know fucked you'll up. Fulfill your destiny? Destiny? I just wanna kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure! <laughs> oh man, dat- dat e for everyone humor. Yes! Oh, derp, found it. How did I activate- what? I activated the green one with, with, while being way over there. Alright, give me the goods. Thank you very much. And this level is complete- No! I think it's complete. Yep, complete. And with that, guys... I'm going to end it for one reason, and that is that I don't think I can 100% another level while keeping the video under 20 minutes. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like rating. Actually, honestly, I think we could go to the next world. Let me see. Far and dangerous, maybe... F oh, we have to find more. Right. Alright. Well, either way, pretty successful episode in my opinion. Don't know about you guys. So in the next episode, we will do... Let me think. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no! Whoa! Oh, almost jumped in. We'll do Dry Canyon and... Cliff Town. And if we have time, we'll do Ice Cavern, which is right down there. I'm gonna go before my hiccups get any worse. And, uh, as always, I will see you guys next time.
拜拜。